Mm-hmm. Pretty little black skin girl, pretty little diamond ring. Oh, Caribbean beauty, Caribbean cutie. Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. So excuse how I look. I know I look a hot mess, but today is actually my birthday and I decided to record a video of me trying to transform all of this because I should look like a human being on my birthday. I deserve to look like a human being on my birthday. <laughs> so <laughs> the reason why I didn't get my hair done for my birthday or anything is because I have an appointment to get my hair done on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. I have an appointment on Thursday to get my hair done because I'm traveling on Friday. So I'm just going to do like a simple cute updo so that I look decent today while I go get my facial and do my thing. So I decided to record a video out of it. So um, let's jump right into this video because I swear it's not going to be a long video. So I'm starting off on a semi stretch here and I've already parted my hair in three section with the smallest section being in the front and I know my parts aren't straight but it does not matter for this style and I'm using these hair ties and Obia natural curl enhancing custard so first if you've watched my previous videos you know how much I love the curling custard it's actually my gel replacement and I'm just applying it to the perimeters of that middle section and then using my brush to smooth down my edges because I am putting this section into a high ponytail and I want it to look as sleek as possible so I'm using the hair ties to hold that section in place and this is a very quick and easy updo style it's my go-to up to updo style when I need to look cute but don't have a lot of time to spend on my hair moving towards the back I'm just smoothing out the roots not really detangling my ends just smoothing the roots so that I can put the back into a high ponytail as well to meet the middle section applying more of the curling custard and smoothing that out the key to this style is neatness so you want everything to look as sleek as possible so i'm using some more hair ties to hold the back in place and you want the back ponytail to be as high as the middle part and then i'm using some hair pins to hold the back down as well just so that it could look as sleek as possible so coming back to the middle section i'm just splitting the ends in two and doing two very slack twists um the twist is so slack that it's i'm really only twisting the ends and then i will be tucking the ends of those two twists towards the back so that they're not sticking out and I'll be doing the same thing to the back section and tucking those two twists into the middle. So really I'm getting this like neat puff look. And coming towards the front, I'm just detangling a little bit with my fingers. And then I'll be doing a very slack flat twist. The key to this front part is that the twist be so slack that it's kind of like a hump. And at the end of that flat twist, I am tucking it up so that you really only have the hump in the front. And I'm applying some more of the curling custard to my edges just to lay them a little bit more. And I'm tying down my hair with this satin scarf so that the style can set and dry while I get ready. And I don't know why I did all of that just to tie down my hair. <laughs> so I am done getting ready and voila, this is the final look. My hair is dry, it's sleek, there's no frizz, it's a very neat and cute updo. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe. And um, I know this is a very old video, but I still wanted to edit it and put it out there. I hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time. 
And you deserve it all This is perfect And it's the magic And everything you do Isn't that nerds?